object under VB scripting file system objects. I say said earlier all objects for example in VB for a Microsoft right click I now go to new he is now when I click on folder he is going to create a folder what makes him to create a folder how he creates a folder he uses the class of scripting dot file system object dot create folder is the method so he uses those methods of that class to create all this I want to create text document he uses a method called add create file or create text file method so most of the information when you install an application most of the application check for availability of the hard disk space that availability of hard disk space is again a method available under file system objects any operation you do over here whatever you see it over here when I click on C drive it gives me a tooltip sometimes with a space total size is this free space is this this information is again available using the class scripting dot file system object so I can manage hard drives I can manage in how much space available from hard disk there are lot of methods supported under file system objects so why file system object to be used anything that I need to deal with file system of so to deal with Microsoft file system I require to use the above class without this class I cannot use Microsoft file system I want to create a file I want to create a uh, save a file I want to make it as a PDF file whatever you want to use through Microsoft then you have to use Microsoft class that is nothing but scripting dot file system object let us see what are all the methods available under file system object so under file system object let me open I first create usually in QTP to manage or use objects declaration is required in case you want to manage or use object you need to declare what is object in QTP object is nothing but collection of sub objects it can be single object it can be multiple objects in our case set so I need to declare now file system object I use F1 as my file system object what I am trying to do is I like to open a notepad So I like to open a notepad I like to note open a notepad in this notepad I want to write something here I like to write something but now I open physically the notepad I want to do this operation through scripting so that the script will write inside the notepad not I write manually here how I like to do this is what we are going to see now I am now using file system object taking a sample of generating a notepad so dim f1 I am creating declaring the file system object I am treating f1 as an object what is this f1 object for QTP now I am declaring the object set f1 declaration of the object is generally done using command set equals f1 dot create 
object create object is the method of supported by qtp uh, vb script to create an object and assign the class of the object to the f1 so create object is the method which will gen create an object using the class that i declare it scripting dot file system object i am now creating an object with this class please note class has to be within quotes the i cannot use a different spelling for this class because it is not the class that you and me created this is created by microsoft so I don't have any option to change this class name. It has to be as it is. At the same time, this class, whoever uses, whether it is Java guy, whoever uses, they cannot change the class name. Now, I have now set F1 as if F1 is now in a variable. This F1 is not now acting as an object. This In this F1, I now manage notepad. So I like to create notepad as another object. So that is F2. I treat F2 is an object which opens the notepad and keep it inside that F2. In that F2 you can write whatever you want to do. So I now setting F2 as f1 dot because we have created the class f1 as scripting dot file system intellisense will help you to understand all the methods that is allowed under f1 so if i want to create a folder use this method create folder you want to create a text file use this method delete file use this method copy folder copy file build path, delete folder, whether drive exists or not, visit drives, what are all the drives you are currently working with, that is property, drives is a property, whether file exists or not, folder exists or not, if it exists, you don't create it, if it doesn't exist, you create it, all those options are available, this is the option used by the installer, in case if you are installing, he creates the folder, if folder already exists, he gives the warning. Folder already exists, you want to overwrite onto that folder. All these messages are used using this method by the developer. Now you are becoming a developer actually. Developer also uses the same principle, but not in QTP. They use it in their development tool, but they use the same kind of methodology. They will also get the help they get the help of in case if it is dotnet dotnet will give the intelligence on about their classes and the method available so no longer you are now different to a developer now you are almost into the development i want to get the drive i can get the drive i want get extension name get file get file name anything you want to do you can use this and then you can do it so now in my case I want to create a file I select create file where you want to create I want to create under this location under this data location I want to create my first txt file dot txt I can give any extension but he creates it as a ASCII file. He doesn't create a binary file. Now, if file already exists, what do you want to do? If file already exists, I want to recreate that file. I don't want to fail. So, true indicates if it already exists, you recreate that file, ignore that file and it's available. Replace the file. He is now replacing. Now, F2 object is having my text file as my file and it is empty now. So, F2 object is holding a notepad, empty notepad. 
in this notepad what you like to do i like to now write on to the file so f2 is an object f2 dot f2 is an object which is nothing but a simple notepad object in that notepad object i am having now so much of available methods what i like to do i like to now write a line i want to write a line what is the line that you want to write we are learning qtp online through online or i'll say we are learning qtp i want to go to another line f2 dot write line through online so f2 dot advantage of online felt advantage of online able to get recorded session this is my command now i write simple write i don't use write line so the difference between the right and the right line is when i say right line my control that is line control will automatically after finishing we are learning qtp the pointer moves to the next line by default pointer in the notepad if i take a notepad for your understanding after i type we are learning qtp pointer automatically comes to the next line is what right line is if i am using right say we are pointer stays on the same line after the end of that writing so i am writing now we are pointer now stays on the same line is what right command is right line moves the pointer to the next gives the end line control end of line and moves the pointer to the next line whereas if i use right he doesn't move the pointer right so using sota able to access recorded session so i am now leaving it here when i say right he now the next line i am using right line now the ninth line he will write it in eighth line itself able to replay n number of times so i am now made a right line as if f2 is a notepad open and written inside the notepad with this statements what i need to do now i need to saving by default as i write it has been saved so i need to close the file i can use f2 dot close once i close it what i need to do i need to release this objects from the memory set f2 as nothing set f1 as nothing because i am releasing the object from the memory now so first i have created an object declared an object and then declaration is a dummy declaration now i am creating f1 object this f1 object is using scripting dot file system as my class so we know microsoft understand when i create a class of object as scripting dot file system f1 is acting as if it is the class of that object using this f1 i am now creating the text file without f1 i cannot create a text file because microsoft doesn't understand if i don't use this class f1 so class dot method is the syntax of vb so set f2 
f1 dot create text file so using f1 i am creating the text file into and storing that as an object into f2 set is the command used to create an object or setting an object then inside this f2 i am writing some of the lines using write line method write and and end i am closing that object because i saved the file now once i do that i clear the object from the memory i am setting the object as nothing this is basic coding standards that we need to follow i have created an object i release the object from the memory so this part will tell you how the file is created and made available for the end users i go to tools i execute with a delay otherwise it will be too fast so i execute with 2 second delay as we did before now i execute the script so in this now he is setting the object now he is writing line inside that object he is closing the object now once he closed he is releasing the object from the memory he finish the run once run completes i go back to that location where i have created it is under c drive in c drive online class data is the place where i created you can now see my first txt file open the txt file you can now see the way he has created we are learning qtp through online advantage of online able to get recorded session using sota able to access recorded session and able to replay n number of time you can notice now using sota able to access recorded session and able to replay are in the same line because when i click on write when i use the method write the pointer was available here because the pointer is here he is now typing this line onto that same line and then he returns with the end of line character that end of line character pushes the line to the next so this is how i created a file so what we have seen now is how to create a file using file system object how to create a simple text file when i say create text file i can create comma separated file i can create tab separated file because comma separated tab separated are easily accessible by excel sheet i can create a dat file any format you can create but what he understands it's a simple txt file it is not a binary file it is a simple txt file so this is how you create using scripting dot file system object files inside the